You're listening to Factual America. Welcome back to Factual America. I'm here with the directors and producers, Kirby Dick and Amy Ziering. HBO documentary, Alan V. Farrow, that released in February on... uh, in February on HBO and uh, March here in the UK on Sky, and I know is available to stream on HBO Max and Now TV, along with On the Record, right? You, which you gave a shout out to. Uh, that's that's available there too. So, um, I, I'll direct this to both of you, but I, you know, Kirby, maybe it's your turn. Uh, what? So you've kind of alluded to this, but uh, as you said, you're going down these rabbit holes. What surprised you the most in your, um, maybe both in the original investigation and your own investigation? Well, I, I'd say first uh, would, is the amount of supporting evidence um, yeah. that was, you know, that, you know, and there were multiple investigations that uh, took place. And as I said, the lead investigators in each of those investigations um, state investigations all inter- interviewed Dylan and believed her. And these are people who are professionals. That That's what they do. They're able to make that judgment. One of those investigations, the New York State investigation, there was an incredible cover-up because when the investigator was moving forward and wanted to, you know, had, had in, in, interviewed Dylan and wanted to move it into a criminal case, that's when the cover-up happened in the New York State. And it was really kind of shocking. It went all the way up to the mayor's office, in fact, and uh, which says something about how powerful Woody Allen was. And I think maybe now for people, it's hard to imagine because Woody Allen's sort of waning in his power now, but he was at the peak of his power at that time, particularly in New York City, which was his town. And so... That was really one of the shocking things is, is the is the amount of cover up in that particular investigation, because if that had moved moved through, um, I think this the, the there would have been entirely different presentation of this case. Mm. I mean, related to that, because you kind of alluded to it, um, probably at the risk of libel, I won't say exactly the name of the organization, but this first study that was I mean, that even shows up now. You, you do a Google and the first thing that comes up is this study at um Yale New Haven or something. I mean, right. did you find any evidence there that it was, I mean, because it's an odd one, because seemingly the case social workers were like, no, no, there's there's evidence here, yet it got it got quashed, didn't it? I mean, or, or not just quashed, they, they just, they came out and came up with f- very different conclusions that then people have used and run with, but the, even the, as you, I think what was excellent was having the, uh, the state prosecutor, who's, who was still around, at least when you were filming, uh, say that uh, you know that it was it was ridiculous, um, and it wasn't corroborated by by anyone else. No, that that's entirely that's entirely true, and um, and one of the things that was most shocking about the Yale and Haven study is they destroyed their notes. Right. So they came up with a conclusion. But there was no way, and, and as you said, uh, at least one of the investigators, you know, uh, during the process believed Dylan. That's not mentioned at all in the final report. And then when people tried to dig into that, um, they said they destroyed their notes and that was their policy, which they were part working with a, um, a state prosecutor. This was a criminal case. So every interview that Yale New Haven did with any of the witnesses, and especially with Dylan, is evidence and would become evidence in this criminal case. So they were destroying evidence in a criminal case. I mean, and, and it's we've talked to experts across the country, and it's it's just astonishing to them that you know uh, an, an investigator brought on by the you know the prosecutor would be destroying notes. Yeah. What? Unless, you know, it just, I mean, we don't know. We don't have proof, but it it really, it, it looks like they were covering their tracks. Yeah. What, what was so surprising to me, I mean, there's so much. If you're a viewer, like, I think every episode is full of, mm. it's chock full of surprises that are shocking. Watching the Verite footage, Mia was this amateur cineast, and so she filmed, yeah. who knew that there'd be like this trove of home videos. So it's like, you are an eyewitness yourself and you draw your own conclusions and you can see what's going on right in front of your eyes. But also that there was what, you know, there were shockers throughout, but for me also there that, you know, as what Kirby and you just alluded to, 
the level of cover up that happened throughout the different investigations and the level of retribution and punishment that were that were wielded on people that were just trying to investigate yeah. this case mind blowing mind blowing like have no idea and like mm -hmm. if you look at our twitter threads you'll see justice for some of the people that you know mm. were caught in the in the in the wake of this you know just doing their job you know have no agenda have no horse in the race have no side to take you know and just in the course of doing their job because they might have come up with something that was damning towards one of the parties you know got you know got got huge had huge repercussions were fired were yeah. reprimanded you know kind of had witch hunts after them so that was to me really shocking well i mean and i not to make too much dwell on it too much but this whole yale new haven thing i mean what struck me is that not only do they come to these they they tell woody allen directly so he can have a you know they haven't even told the prosecutor i don't think yet and they right. just release it to woody allen's people and you can have a big big press release right in front of you know proclaiming he's been exonerated you know right on their on their steps right yeah. i mean if they were quote unquote objective i mean that would be the last thing they would do i mean they did <clears throat> let the prosecutor know the you know uh the day before but okay. yes it's it, it's exactly you're exactly right i mean that made it look like um you know to be used that backdrop may you know just strongly suggest mm. some sort of I mean, you know, collusion. I don't think there's any other way you can say it.